Huh? Did you get the job ready? No, I'm about to take it. Oh my god! I made it! I made it! Oh, look nice. Very cute and professional. I just wanted to get my mom's reaction. She bugs me. If y'all mama don't buck y'all like that, then. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's my biggest supporter, my biggest fan. So thanks, mommy, for always making me feel so, so pretty. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my gosh, I feel like I look crazy um and the reason that is is because today is a get ready with me and it's pretty exciting because i am about to go take my residency eras headshots y'all like what i'm taking headshots for an application that's crazy i don't know it's just surreal for me but my appointment is literally like in an hour and I'm not dressed, as you can see. I'm like in a t-shirt, my hair is like this. So we need to like keep it moving. And this is my first time doing this. So let's hope this turns out okay. But the first thing I'm gonna do is take out these um, flexi rods out of my hair and just pray to God my hair looks decent. Let's start in the back. I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. this is my first time really using flexi rods in my straight hair and I love it because I don't know if you guys like experience the same thing especially if you have like longer hair my hair doesn't hold a curl well like if I were to do it with my wand it my curls will fall in like 30 minutes so I've noticed that flexi rods when people say they use flexi rods their curls usually last a little longer I still doubt I get more than like a day's worth of curls out of this, but at least it'll last, you know, most of the day. So that's a good thing. All right, so all the flexi rods are out and I'm just gonna like run my fingers through my hair a little bit to break up the curls because I'm not trying to look like Shirley Temple. I just want like some volume and like yeah this is almost like too curly. I don't want it this curly <laughs> but whatever you know it's too late because I have to take this picture in an hour whether I like it or not. Um, So we're just gonna clip my hair back okay y'all so we can work on this face start beating this face and do not mind my edges so we gonna fix this y'all we go fix this we just go keep it out the way let these curls hopefully do some falling um okay so as you can see i look really rough and i don't have a big mirror in front of me right now because of my camera so i have my little so i have my little urban decay mirror so if you see me looking down that's what I'm looking at. I don't want you guys to think I'm just not wanting to look at y'all. Y'all know it ain't like that. So, I'm going to go in with my NYX eyebrow pencil. Um, this is the first time I'm trying this. I actually just bought it yesterday at Target. Um, it is just the micro brow pencil in the color brunette. Um, yeah pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows and then we'll talk because y'all may know it takes a lot of concentration I actually like to like take my finger after and dust over the front of the eyebrow just so that it's not as harsh as the rest um, Cause I like my eyebrows pretty natural and if you guys notice my eyebrows are pretty full from the beginning so this is the one I did and this is the one I didn't so it's not a huge difference but 
I just like to do it for a little bit more definition. So those are brows I'm very simple y'all again this is for a headshot for an um a residency application and so you're not supposed to put like a heck of a lot of makeup on with these types of photos you're supposed to look really natural but really put together um that's like the goal of the shoot so um I'm just gonna be doing a really natural look like uh, my skin but better type look um so no wild colors or anything on my eyes i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes really quick because that's also one thing i just don't wear and i i've never like put them on are falsies nothing against them i just figured i should not try falsies for the first time for a headshot so i'm not going to i'm just gonna like work with what i got i've had um lash extensions before like the individuals done professionally but like once and i just haven't had them done again y'all like I'm in med school. I wish I had time to just always look, you know, super put together, but that's not realistic for me right now. So we're just gonna curl. <laughs> so I think that's good um, as far as just curling my lashes goes so let's do eyeshadow next and again I'm just doing something really minimal um, just to bring a little depth depth can I speak <laughs> just to bring a little bit of depth to my eyes and so I'm going in with my let's see the lighting is like being trippy I'm going in with my Aaliyah by Mac palette and it has such sorry guys such pretty neutral tones in it so I figured that's perfect for the look I am going for so I'm gonna first go in with this middle shade here I'm not sure they don't have colors on the palette itself so I'm not sure what the name of that shade is but it's like a a medium brown shade and I'm just going to put that on my lid kind of as a base um, more in the crease I guess than the lid but I'm just gonna put that as a base uh. okay so I did that um and now I'm going to actually go in with this brown shade here, that um, like deeper shade, just to like contour, like give my um, eyes some depth. So let's see, and I'm mainly focusing this on my crease. And if you guys haven't noticed, I have hooded eyelids. So I kind of have to watch what I do because I could easily make something that's supposed to be really simple look dramatic on my type of eyelids. So, um, yeah. But see, I just wanted some depth. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. And y'all, I am not a makeup expert. I like wear makeup like twice a month. <laughs> so, I don't need any judgment. <laughs> this is a get ready with me, not a tutorial. So, don't be coming for me. That's all I'm saying. Don't come for me. Okay? Because girl... It's not a beauty girl or whatever. I'm just 
you know, I like to dibble and dabble. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go in with our Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. And you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm not doing foundation today. One, because I'm super dark right now. Like, I'm the darkest I've been in years. And I don't have a shade that matches me right now. All of my foundations are lighter. Um, because I'm usually, like, I haven't been able to get this tan in a long time. So that's one reason and I just honestly want to look as natural as possible so we're gonna go in with the color caramel by Fenty Beauty and just place this all under our eyes to conceal all these stress <laughs> signs under our eyes all these bags um and so I'm just gonna do that on both sides And then I like to go down my nose with it, a little bit on my forehead, just to give me some brightness. And then I'm actually going to go around my mouth, because your girl got a mustache, and it will be nice if I could hide that. And so another thing I do is I put it like here, just because I want to define my cheekbones. And so I just put this all over my face, y'all. I look crazy but I feel like you guys can't really see it can you see it yeah now I'm just gonna go in with a damp um, real technique sponge and blend this out and I need to hurry up and you always want to carry it even though it's just concealer, you since I'm not doing foundation, you always want to carry it down to your neck just in case there's harsh lines. This one is pretty good as, as far as it matches me pretty well. So I'm not too worried about harsh lines. So now we have a pretty concealed face. I'm just going to keep my concealer out but to the side. Now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Truffle. It's like a brown, chocolate brown. Um, and I'm just going to use this to like define my cheekbones and define my nose a little bit more. Um, so yeah. Yeah, can y'all see? Um, yeah. And I think, um, I'm going to go here under my jawline, just because, you know, your girl got a little bit of a double chin, and that kind of <laughs> helps to hide it, or like conceal the double chin. And so now I'm just going to blend out my nose contour. And you want to blend it out well, y'all, because y'all don't want, like, any harsh lines in a photo like this. You want, like, smooth. This is, like, my natural, like, skin contour. <laughs> you know? You want it to look like this is how light just naturally hits your face. And so, I really try to blend well. And it's actually helping me filming this because I can see like, because of what, what it looks like on a camera versus what it looks like in person is different. So it's like seeing how it's blending on cameras is helping me a lot right now. So I can know, you know, what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna come close. gonna come closer to the camera, uh, so you guys can see. So you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. I'm gonna go in and just touch up with my concealer on my cheeks because I feel like my cheeks look a little dark now after blending out that contour. So I like to kind of just go back, and it also helps to find the contour 
Um, so I'm just gonna go in and blend out some more. So this is what we're working with right now. Um, again, I just keep checking to make sure my lines are blended because that's what I hate seeing that. I hate seeing like where you can tell people put on makeup. Um, yeah. So I'm just going in and just blending everything down my neck. I'm going to add a little bit more because I have a little pimple right there um but yeah otherwise I am pretty happy with the way that looks actually um what am I missing highlights so I'm gonna go in again since I'm doing more of a natural look I'm using this super shock cheek um so highlighter from ColourPop just because it is one of my more natural highlights and this is in the color churro I think it is a limited edition so I'm not sure if they still offer it on site but you guys could check if you like it but I'm just putting a little bit of this y'all because I'm not trying to be glistening like I'm at the beach in these pictures <laughs> so ooh, see that might be too much that might be too much Renee I'm going to put a little bit under my brow bone. So, you know, be like, honey, the brows are done. The brows are coming through. Does this happen for any of y'all? It's always, like, harder to, um, to highlight one side of your facial or another. Because, like, the shadows that you can barely see. So, I always, like, overdo it on one side because like right now I can't really see it as well versus on this side you know I could tell it's beaming yeah I don't know maybe it's just me but I think that's perfect um what do you guys think okay now for um lashes and i know this is all over the place y'all this like i said please work with me here this is my first time filming something like this and you guys are probably like you're not going to even set your concealer no and the reason i'm not is because right now my skin is super super dry um, and I go through periods where my skin is like combination and then sometimes it's like dry like the Sahara Desert. Right now, my skin is so dry, y'all. So if I would have put powder on, I would look like, like I would have dry patches. So I'm just going to keep it as is. And I promise you guys, like it's not going to budge on me because my skin is so dry. So I don't want you guys, like you guys that do makeup, to cringe at the fact that I'm not putting um, powder because I know my skin and I'm not trying to look like a cake baby on these pictures also you gotta do the face with your mouth open or you're not putting on mascara right After putting five coats of mascara, I think I'm finally done. <laughs> the last thing I need to do real quick before I like go in the bathroom and fix my hair up a little bit is my lips. And that, I'm just using the MAC Cork Lip Liner. Not overlining lips today. 
not that I ever do that. I have big lips, so what's the point? But, ooh! I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. Because, girl, we're just trying to glow today. We're not trying to, like, do too much. But, here's the final makeup look for now. I will let you guys know if I change something. I'm going to go run in my bathroom and fix up, like, my edges and my hair. And I'll come back because... I mean, I just don't have a plug here for me to do it right here. So, yeah, this is the makeup, guys. I think it came out pretty good. Nice and natural. Okay, we'll be back. Alright guys, so this is the finished look I came up with. I just have to put my blazer on of course, but I just didn't want to do that too early because then I'll be hot and my hair will get so puffy. So yeah, I think it came out good. I think the makeup looks really natural, um, but still really pretty and put together. So I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. My hair did turn out a lot curlier and like fluffier than I thought it would. But it, I mean, I, I still like it though. You know, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. She has body, all right? She has body. So I'm not tripping, but I really like it, guys. I hope this picture comes out good. I feel like I have, whew, I don't know. I put in some work this work girl <laughs> but no as you guys can see like I overall just go for a pretty simple natural looks um, and as you can see from the video everything I was doing was pretty straightforward I don't do anything crazy um, I'm not that great with my makeup um, but I mean like I said I think it came out good enough for me to get a really pretty picture out of this so yeah guys i will insert the picture that comes from all of this right at the end of the video so thank you guys so 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 much for watching i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye guys i'll talk to y'all soon don't forget to subscribe too how did i forget that <laughs> all right guys